Welcome to Second Chance Garage. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but the whole back end was scratched up. So, I went and bought me some Krylon. <laughs> so, I'm going to, uh, I did do some painting and touched up the biggest majority of it. But, now some of you is going to ask, okay, well, I'm going to paint right over top of that zebra stripe. But, that's duct tape. And everybody's going to ask me, well, what about that? Well, I'm just going to go get some more. I think I got it at Menard. And then I will start a new, just run a new strip right over the top of it. It's an old camper I get by doing that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to do. I don't know if you can see it, but back here and back here. It's all tore up. So, we'll just hit her with some cry on. This is from where the shed came down on it and scratched it all up. There's not a lot I can do about it except for do some touch up painting. <laughs> yeah, can't breathe. So this up here in general it's fast drying cryon. Yep. So I'm kind of just going over it. Fill in the damage spots. Let's see if I can take you over here and show you what I'm doing. Don't know if I can or not. Hmm. Let's see. Huh. Well, I was going to turn it around, but I don't think I can. So. Right in here, there was a big old messed up spot. Here, there was a big old messed up spot. Uh, here, there was a big old messed up spot. I don't know what you guys can see. This was all damaged in through here. I don't know what you can see, what you can't. But anyway, and this had a big scratch right in here. I had painted over some of that. You can see, might be able to see some of this here. So we're just gonna. Oh, I wish I could turn that around. Hmm. Can't turn around while I'm recording, I guess. All right. So we'll just hold it about here and see what happens, huh? See if we can make this just disappear. This is a good thing about having an old camper. I can get by with doing stuff like this. The average person with our multi-million dollar glamping setup, you wouldn't want to do this with. But, uh, glamping. Uh, you'd probably have to. It's a glamorous camping. Glamping. Let's see here. You don't want to put it on too thick because you don't want runs like right there. <laughs> but I had washed the camper so the paint would stick uh, last night. And when I did that, I didn't have it dry enough. Like I said, for the it's just got to look half decent at ten paces, is all. 
is all I'm trying to do here. I could have sanded it down and made it look better, but hey, it's an old camper. Got hail damage all over the back of it. Oop, there's a run right there. Nice. Oh, well. I said if I wanted to, I could get a rag and wipe it off, but nobody will ever see it. Nobody will ever know it's there. Well, <laughs> except for anybody watching the video, they might see it, but they might know it's there. But like I said, 10 paces. See, it got damaged here. We'll just give her a little squirt. Got a hint there. Got all tore up through here. Got mangled there. All this was all tore up in here. So I've been hitting her with some spray paint. Just filling her in. Oh, there's a mark right there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll just... Good old can of crown on makes it go away. Just like it never happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like I got some scratches in here. I got to erase. <coughs> erase that. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. See, that was all down to the bare steel through here. This is actually a sticker from the original camper that I just painted over. I didn't ever peel them off. But there was a, I'll just wind up putting on this. I'll just go get some more of this and tape over the top of it. Nobody will ever see it. Like I said, we're just going for the 10 paces here. They're looking at it that close. We're looking at it too close. <laughs> oh, bug guts. <laughs> Paint over the bug guts, too. <laughs> Seal them bug guts right in there. Yeah, just like that. Holy cow, that looks a lot better. Well, I wish I could turn this camera around so I could see what's showing. But yeah. Shoot, yeah, ten paces, nobody will ever know it. Nobody will ever know it. And you just give her a good dusting. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Blends right in. Once I get the stripe on the, the duct tape for it, zebra's duct tape on it, shoot, no one will ever know it. Now, this will be the fun part. See, I got my sticker here, so... What I'm going to do here is paint over the sticker. Yeah, nice big run. You can see I <laughs> used caulking and crap because it took a beating on one of the trips I took. So I'm just going to paint over top of the sticker. And then what I'll do is go get black paint thinner before it dries and then wipe it off with paint thinner. The black sticker. Yeah. Anyway, that's the theory. Anyway. So we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, this is a sticker too that was originally on there. But yeah, it took a beating. Hail damage. and I got into a big hail storm on the way home and then I got into a hailstorm while I was camping, and it just dented the crap out of it. That's what the big, 
that's what that big tree sticker is on there for to help cover up some of the damage of yeah oh good got runs all over it oh well we don't care a few runs no big deal well hurt it no yeah then I gotta get up and paint the roof on it yet. Where the when that awning came down on it, it uh, tore up my rubber roofing I got on there. So I bought me some flex seals so I can just wash the bad spot where it went into the metal, and then I can uh, and then I can just go. Yeah, where it go where it got to the metal roof. I'll wash that up real good, then I'll just spray over it with flex seal. Hey an ant. Oh, oh, oh that was me. That was me. I can't believe I did that. Okay, maybe I can. <laughs> yeah, see. Look at that. Now I clean that up with some lacquer thinner off the sticker. Nobody will ever see it. Fancy, fancy. Ooh, the ant. Ooh, we got it. Yep, all right. All right. We got the ant, yeah. Yep. Ooh, look how this. See, it had a bunch of walnut stuff on the roof and then it ran down so I had to wash all that off now it's got a bunch of that walnut stuff up there so need to scrub off but anyway I just thought I'd <laughs> show you what I'm doing yeah well but yeah in general I think it'll look okay. I'm just going to take some paint thinner and take this off. It's just a thin coating. Come off with some paint thinner off the black stuff. Ew, that's still wet. Ew, ew, ew. Wipe it off on the tire. Nobody will ever see it. <laughs> anyway, but I just thought I'd show you how I was fixing some of it. But yeah, this in general didn't come out real bad uh, I still can't see what you can see but all down in here was all tore up and yeah so anyway second chance garage out